Okay, so it looks like we have arrived on scene. Oh, lots of smoke pouring out of the building right there. Uh, let's pull out device compartment here. We'll get the spreaders. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Simulate Gaming, and welcome back to Firefighter Friday. We're here playing Emergency Call 112. Uh, this is basically every Friday we're playing some firefighting simulators. Uh, this is what you guys asked for, so hopefully we have some fun. Hopefully we're going to have some good time. So I've just got a call out as I was speaking in, building fire. So we're getting off to a great one here. Now we're going to be the attack squad leader. Uh, hopefully the FPS doesn't die too much. You do tend to get low FPS with the these uh, building fires, but it looks like we're doing okay for now. So I'll let this guy speak a minute. ELV, LF24, DLK2312, TL1, RTW1, Osterfeld. Okay, so uh, basically I think you just call every single truck that we have. So we're getting into LF24. Yes, we are. Cool. So we'll quickly jump into here. So as I was saying before the call-out happened, um, this is Firefighter Friday. This is what you guys suggested that I do, so I thought I'd take you up on that. So every Friday you can expect some sort of firefighting simulator. And uh, once again, it's going to be this mainly this game, but uh, we'll see what else we can dig out as well. I do actually have a disc somewhere, which I just thought of last night that I can dig out, but... We'll see how that goes. But anyway, yeah, welcome back. Hope you guys are well. So we're just heading towards a building fire right now. So we have, I believe, all the units out. Actually, maybe not the ladder. Oh, the ladder truck is there. It is coming. There is the ladder truck. And there comes the ambulance. So this is your first video of mine. And welcome. This is, uh... I'm about to say the German name. But this is Emergency Call 112. We got all the British skins. All the, in fact, to be more specific, we got the London Fire Brigade skin. Not from London myself. But it's the ones that were uh, on the workshop. Okay, so it looks like we have arrived on scene. Oh, lots of smoke pouring out of the building right there. Lots of smoke. So, um... Right, let's see what's going on here. Wait till other personnel have arrived. Now, probably... I don't feel like I'm the right person. Okay, we are the right person. Um, we, we may have to swap. I don't think the lead is the guy that actually goes in. But we'll wait and find out. We'll just switch if we can. Um, right, press return to start the call out. There we go. Let's see what jobs we can pick up first of all then. Uh, we The attack squad leader don't really have to do anything until we're ready to go in, basically. Um, this is the guy in charge. And this is the other guy in charge, I assume. Right, so everyone's getting the hoses out and stuff here. We'll just follow some guys until we get a job. So this guy's going to put the hydrant into the ground. Uh, there it goes. Um, okay, that's. I thought it, I had a job to do then, but I don't. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of smoke pouring out this uh, bottom story flat here, or ground story flat, depending on how you like to say it. Uh, first floor, whatever. So we got um, some paramedics on scene. Why is a ladder truck at the back? That doesn't make sense. But I don't think we're going to be needing it anyway. Right. Actually, I want to go ahead and lift this gate up and pull this out. There we go. Right. So we're waiting for somebody to get the hose by. I think we're the wrong person. So we're going to get ready to change. I think it's F3 that we want to be. Who is it? Okay, it is this guy. But I like using the uh, respirator manually, so we're going to go ahead and put the respirator on manually here. There we go. Um, so we need this pipe right here. So we'll quickly collect this. We'll pick up the jet nozzle here. Right, we're going to attach this to the end of this pipe here. And then we can go ahead and attack the fire if we can. So we'll attach that like that. And uh, we'll head in. So... Wish me luck, guys. I believe somebody's already broke down the door, I think. Okay, open flat door. We're going in. Hallway is clear. I can see smoke coming through the wall. A bit unrealistic. But uh, we'll go ahead and go into here. So this is the living room. The fire is in the living room. Okay, we got it. So it looks like we can't see the actual seat of the fire just yet. For those of you who don't know what a seat means, that is where the fire started. We we'll should be able to be, like, see it in a minute. It should become quite clear. Um, now, we do have two types of spray that we can use. So, this is the main jet wash, if you will. But um, just, I want to get the fire out, basically. The main actual flames. And then we'll use the spray to put out the smolder. Uh, we're using the pressure from the normal stream to put it out, basically. Don't know if that's what you do in real life. I'm not a real life firefighter. It looks like the fire started on the bed. This is actually not the living room. This is the bedroom. Um, let's go ahead and plop this out here. Right, we'll switch down to the spray real quick. See if we can... Uh... No, okay. We're going to stick with the actual spray. I think the fire is still a little bit intense with the spray. Right, the bedside table over there. So we'll get this out. 
Right. It seems to be slowly getting out. Though. The bed mattress is smouldering. Well, of course, that would happen because it's fabric. Right. There's a lot of smoke in that corner there. Let's see if we can use the spray a little bit here. I don't think the spray is doing anything, though. No, the spray don't do anything. That's a shame. But there's actually some flame still on the wall here. Let's go ahead and put that out before it spreads to the hallway, or even worse, the upstairs flat. So we got off to a good call-out, which makes up for the last video. The last video we kept getting loads of small, boring ones, but uh, this should make up for it. The pillows are on fire here. So I safe to say they're not going to be able to sleep in this flat tonight, so hopefully they got insurance and they can uh, sleep in a hotel. Right, we've still got some flames over there. Let's quickly collect... Well, collect that one, not collect anything. Let's quickly put that out. Right, now can we use the spray now? Nope. Now, I did notice something when I was editing this video together, and hopefully it's not doing it now, but um, when I was editing the video, the smoke looked a little bit weird on recording. Gotta tell you, that's not what it looks like in-game, guys. That's just the recording. For some reason, Marillis Action, which is what I used to record, doesn't like the flames for some reason, but uh, when I'm actually sat here now playing this, it does look all good and fantastic. Uh, for some reason, yeah, it actually just picks up and it makes it all pixelated. All right. Why is this taking ages to put out? Come on. Do we show we switch on to the spray? I don't think it's doing anything though, the spray. I don't think it's actually even reaching, let alone putting it out. Actually, it might be doing stuff. Right, let's see if we can get on that side of the bed here. This mattress is obviously made of fabric, so it's going to be quite hard to put out. Let's just go ahead and soak the thing. That might be the best solution here. So I'm still not sure what caused the fire, but it started on the bed. It looks like the bed is the seat of the fire, so hopefully... Is that a person on that bed? Please, no, it's not a person. Okay, it's just the uh, the memory foam or whatever it is on the mattress is all uh, melted away or burnt away. Um, probably a cigarette, if we're being honest, guys. This tends to be what starts these uh, sort of fires. They probably fell asleep with a cigarette or even worse, a phone charger. That's something that happens in real life quite a lot. Now, apparently the fire is not actually out. Can you guys see any um, flames? Is that there at the back there? There's the fire. Oh, I can see it. It is this black smoke just over here. I think it may have spread. Can we get to this? Okay, we've got it. We've got it. It was at the back, just behind the uh, headboard there. So yeah, this is definitely, definitely the seat of the fire. Um, it's not obvious what caused it. Probably a cigarette, like I said, or even a phone charger or something like that. Um... But luckily, no one was injured, which is good. So we'll go quickly take the hose pipe back out. What I am going to do real quick, actually, is double check the rest of the house just to be sure. Kitchen is clear. Uh, the balcony is obviously clear. Is this another room here? Yeah, it is. Okay. Bathroom is clear. So it looks like it was just the um, the bedroom. Is this a this bedroom and the living room? This must be what uh, like a what do you call these in the UK? Not bed sits. Is it bed sit? Studio flat. I don't know. I forgot the name of it. Let's quickly go back out here. We'll uh, need to plop this onto the ground a minute. And then we need to disconnect this. Put that on the ground. Now, before we do any more, I'm going to put the respirator away because I'm going to assume in real life it would be quite hard to breathe with this thing on. There we go. Plop that away like that. And now we need to disconnect the hose pipe. So we'll do that. Uh, drop it on the ground. Use carrying basket. There we go. Pick up carrying basket. Put this away. I believe this is the last thing these get put away now, apart from these back hose things. Which just clip onto the back. Right. Let's go ahead and put that back up there. I think we're ready to go. I think we're all good. Let's go ahead and take the helmet off. Oh, that's the respirator. There we go. There's the helmet. So, um, it was quite an intense fire, but it only needed the fire engine, really. So, the rest of them were just here for precautions. I mean, if the whole building went up in flames... In fact, this, that's a cloud. Oh, let me in. Okay, good job boys, we head out of here. So that's our first job guys, we're going to head back to the station right now and uh, we'll see if we can pick up another one and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got another little one here. Now this is a really small one, it's not going to take too long but this is a waste slash skip fire. Now this isn't actually the train one, sometimes we get a train one but that means we get to use the ladder. So this isn't that one but we're going to go ahead, I'll tell you what, we'll drive. Um, you guys like me driving at least once every video so we'll go ahead and do that for you um, and then we'll swap when we get to the scene. Um, I'll let this guy talk a minute. Okay, that was really quick. Um, I'd love to speak German or even 
if they did an English version of this. I'd like to see them do an English version of this, like language, I mean, so we can actually hear what they're saying. Um, so we are actually going to jump in as a driver, I believe it is. Okay, I thought we were the driver. Uh, let's have a look here. F4. Machine operator. We clicked the wrong one. There we go. So um, we're we'll waiting for the passenger to get in now. We'll go ahead and whack our blue lights on. We'll head out of here. We're indicating uh, right out of here. How do we turn the sirens on? There we go. Once we get onto the busy road. Oh, we could have literally walked. Look at this. Look where we're going. So um, driving wasn't that fun. But there we go. There's the interior. Someone said in the last video I don't use enough interior. There we go. Not very much to look at. It's, uh, all the trucks are the same inside. So there is the fire. The police, for some reason, on scene. See a small fire. Let's go ahead and get our sirens off here. Um, I actually want to switch to the other guy right now. So we'll do F1. There we go. We'll jump out of here. Right. He always puts the, rest, uh, the thingy on. Right, where is the uh, the respirator on this small truck? I can't remember. I think it's on this side. Okay, there it is. Pull that out. Get that on. The, I wish you could turn off the automatic thing. It's much more realistic to put it on yourself. And the fact that they put it into the game doesn't make sense if they're just going to give it to you anyway. Right, pull the hose down here. Um, it hasn't spread just yet, so we're going to go ahead and tackle this. Now, we're going to use the shape of the bin to uh, see if we can store some water inside. So we may have to use that to our advantage a little bit. Keep it nice and cool. This is going to be a really, really short one. Look at that. Done already. That was really short. I don't think we're going to count this as a call out. Um, usually I try and do three per video. But um, yeah, I'm not going to bother counting that. Don't worry, guys. So we'll try and do four this time. Um, let's go ahead and plop that back into there like that. Need to put the respirator away real quick. There we go. Um, put the compartment back in. Close the roller gate. And we are ready to go. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the uh, operator here. Wait for this guy to get in. I don't think we need to go back with our blue lights anymore. So we turn the hazard lights off. Rear warning lights can go off as well. I believe that's everything. We need to be in normal road mode now, basically. Um, now, although we're only around the corner from the fire station, we do have to go all the way around. Um, we even have to wait at red lights. Okay, we're just arriving back at the station now. There's where the fire was, but we had to go all the way around the block just to get back here because of the one-way streets and stuff. Let's quickly turn into here. We're going to do it like the rest of the AI. For some reason, they always come up this way instead of just parking in front of the garage. But uh, we'll do our best. Let's go ahead and uh, reverse into here. Probably should turn our head uh, headlights on, but we don't need them anymore. And there we go. It's gone green, which means we can press M to turn... Off the engine, and that automatically closes the job. There's a little uh, mission report there. I never bother reading these. I probably should, but um, there we go. There's another little call out. Uh, once again, same old story. We're going to wait around for a next call. Out. The reason I always skip the wait time because it's literally sometimes about ten minutes in between calls. So don't leave that in the video. So yeah, I'll wait for another call out, and I'll see you guys in a jiffy. Okay, so we've got a little uh, small conflagration here. So we're going to go ahead, and we're not going to bother driving this time. We're going to go ahead and be the uh, Oh, we, would, we clicked the wrong button, that's why. We will be the squad leader of this one. Uh, so it's only a small fire, but sometimes these can be more interesting than the big ones. Brandschutz. Kleinflächenbrand. Einsatz für TLF 2. So there we go. I always uh, wait for that bloke to stop talking, whereas it gets a bit muddled in the video. So uh, to stop you guys getting annoyed, I usually shut up when that comes on. But, right, we're going to jump in as a passenger. Oh, something happened to the suspension then. You see that? So we'll jump up into here like so. And uh, we'll let the AI do the driving now. So I'm not sure how far we're going. Unfortunately, we don't get any sort of like PDA map that pops up telling us how far it is. But the uh, sun's looking nice. I got the render distance on quite low just so we get... F I'm trying to get 60 FPS in my videos. Um, but unfortunately, we're only getting about 35 at the moment. In usual simulator uh, tradition. Most simulators like this are usually pretty stuck for FPS. But this one's not too bad. It's not ugly. Like, the freight rate's not that bad, but it's just not solid 60. I'm currently up to 43 now. So it looks like the lowest FPS is around the station. Okay, we're going right up here. Don't even going to bother doing a jump cut because we can literally see it right here. That guy's amazing. He's not even using his hands to steer. Look, he's using his mind. Ah, what's this? Really small fire. This looks like a park bench. How's someone put a park bench on fire? Right. Let's go ahead and jump out of here. 
Um, once again, he's probably going to give us the respirator. Yes, he has. We don't want the respirator. Dang it, stop giving us the respirator. Let's get that out manually. What's this little billboard says? Fire Wars. Looks like a TV show. <laughs> right, let's go ahead and lift it up. Pull that out once again. Pick up the respirator. Uh, right, where's the hose? Now, you may notice, for those of you that don't know too much about fire engines, you may notice that we haven't plugged this fire engine into any of the hydrants. It's because this is the water tr uh, truck. So it's got a tiny bit of storage on it. Um, obviously, if it gets too low, they have to fill it up again uh, or plug into the hydrants. But uh, this gets filled up when we get back to the station, usually. Uh, I'll show you the big blue pipes next time, if I remember. Right, there we go. That's out already. It gets really, really easy fires today. What's going on? Could have done that with a watering can. What even was that, actually? Is that a children's roundabout? I think it's a children's roundabout. Um, little uh, small football field there. Right, so we'll quickly put this hose pipe back away here. We'll get the respirator off. That was a really small call out. That's smaller than the other one. There we go. Let's see if we can close this roller. Oh, I need to put the compartment back, don't I? Push back compartment. Pull down roller gate. Pull down roller gate. Pull down roller gate. There we go. Are you alright, buddy? You look a bit stuck. No, you're good. Let's get the helmet off. Awesome. So another small job done. Um, hopefully we get something interesting next time to make up for the two small ones that we've had. Right. So he's driving back now, so there's nothing for me to wait around for. So I'll meet you guys back at the station. Thank you, Mr. Police Officer. Okay, buddy, so we've got a good one for the last time now. Um, so this is a road traffic accident once again. Now, I know we did this in a couple of videos ago, but we'll add it to this one anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and be a tax squad leader for this one. Um, right, there we go. It's going to be nighttime as well, so hopefully that looks all right on video. Obviously, this bit's going to look fine because we've got uh, lights and stuff. Um, Einsatz für NF24 RTW1 NEF1 well, there we go. He didn't speak too much. I thought he was going to go on for ages then. But uh, what truck are we getting into? We're getting into the NF24 as per usual. Um, let's go ahead and just jump into here. There we go. So I don't know what we're expecting. There is a person trap, so we are going to be cutting off a roof today. So hopefully it doesn't last too long. Maybe a bit of a long video. But yeah, we'll drive to the scene just to save up on some time. And I'll see you guys there. Put your sirens on. Good boy. Okay guys, so we are just arriving on the scene right now. It looks like we have, um, well, the, the road is closed off. It looks like it's just us. Oh no, there's ambulance coming and there's also something else at the back. I think we've got two ambulances here and just us, which is uh, pretty desirable because we are the rescue engine. Right, so the pretty much got the same situation as the last time. So we've got a Mini Cooper and a Seat Leon, I believe, or Seat Ibiza. Uh, so there's one ambulance. There's another ambulance coming right here. Come on. Take your time, buddy. So we got one person trapped, as we said earlier. Right, that amateur is actually going to be in the way slightly. Can we possibly... This may break it, but uh, F6. If we pull forward, will the ambulances pull forward as well? Okay, let's go ahead and start this up right now. Now, it is a little bit dark, as you guys can see, but a good thing about the, uh, the fire engines here is that when we open the side uh, things, see all the lights light up here. Now, it's probably not... Is someone going to do it? Yeah, this guy here is doing it. So he's going to put the uh, this boom up here. We can actually control this if we were that guy. Um, and it's basically a huge spotlight that's pointing on the car, as you can see here. But we do have a job. We need to get the hydraulic spreaders. So we'll quickly... I'll tell you what, we'll just open up everything just in case we need it. Uh, let's pull out device compartment here. We'll get the spreaders. And uh, we need to expose... You guys have seen me do this before. We need to expose the... Uh, go to the hood. Oh, actually, we're doing the bonnet first. I forgot about that. So we're going to go ahead and open the bonnet. And then somebody else will come and disconnect the battery, I believe. And it might be us. Let's go ahead and put these down. Because I had a real firefighter comment on my last video saying that these are, in fact, quite heavy after a while in real life, which is pretty understandable. Um, okay, I need to get some wheel chocks from the engine. So we'll quickly go do that right now. And then I actually want to swap to the other guy because he has the cutters and I want to use the cutter because we used the spreaders last time if you guys remember that if you saw that video let's go ahead and put these chocks behind this wheel here there we go um actually no I'll tell you what we'll stay with the spreaders for now we'll stay with this. we won't make it complicated all right what's everybody doing now this guy is going to 
jack the door open a little bit, and then I'm assuming I gotta spread the hinge. What did he just do? Okay, he just bent the door. He exposed the uh, mechanism inside, basically, and now we need to get this into here. He still stood in the way. Get out of the way. Thank you very much. There we go. So now we need to expose the hinge, and then that guy over there will come with the cutters and cut the hinge off. Right, so there we go. Now I already know because I've done this before that after this we're going to have to go on to this side and uh, do that side. I'm sort of stay in the light. I want you guys to see it properly, so I'm staying in the light. Actually, we got him out. We'd have to cut the roof off this time, guys. He's uh, He seems to be free, which is good, so we don't have to cut the roof off. It saved us some time. Um, so I'm assuming we need to put these back. Look at the cable I've left. It's because I keep going for a little wander around. Um, but not to worry. All right, he's going to ask us to put this back anyway. He hasn't said it just yet. I thought, I don't want to break the game, so I'll wait. <laughs> Look at the cable we've left behind. Dang it. Hang on a minute. Oh, he's cleaning up the thing. I thought he was going to... Uh, I thought he was still working away there. Not to worry. Uh, well, actually, we need to get the broom. I didn't think that would be us. Right, let's go ahead and collect the broom. This is a bit touchy, this one. But there we go, we've got her. Let's go ahead and start sweeping the sand into the oil there. Like so. There we go. Go to Roller Gate. Let's go ahead and put the broom back. Now, we may have to put this uh, spreader back as well, so we'll stay tuned for that. Uh, put broom into there. Oh, he's doing it. Cool. Go to, oh, we got to get the uh, wheel chocks. Let's go ahead and get the wheel chock then. That goes into the little drawer. Unfortunately, the drawer doesn't pull out, but there's not really any need for it too. Now, I did say this in the last video, but in case you guys missed it, it would be cool if the ambulance took these guys away. And they unfortunately just stand here, basically, until we drive off. Right, let's go ahead and plop that back into there like that. I believe we're done. I believe so, anyway. Did he get that boom back in? Yes, he did. Now that's putting the hoses onto the back of the fire engine. And we'll head back to the station. So I'm going to call that an episode once again. I hope you guys did enjoy it. This has been Firefighter Friday. This is an episode that you guys came up with. A series, sorry, that you guys came up with. So big thank you to you guys. I'm enjoying it. hope you guys still are as well. But um, yeah, if you did enjoy, please slap my thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.